Ukraine puts Putin in a difficult situation by crossing red lines one after the other. The war in Ukraine almost daily brings new humiliations to Russia's imperial pride. The destruction of the newest Su-57 fighter and attacks on Russian territory by American weapons are the most recent examples of this, writes the British The Telegraph. The author of the publication notes that the Kremlin likes to wave red lines, the crossing of which will supposedly entail dire consequences. One of these lines in particular was the use of American weapons to strike Russian territory. Ukraine recently violated this red line, and this was not followed by any clear punishment except for the dubious statements of Dmitry Medvedev in the telegram. Moreover, thanks to these strikes, Ukraine received a significant tactical advantage in the defense of border areas. A drone strike on the Akhtubinsk airfield in the Astrakhan region, which resulted in the destruction of a fifth-generation fighter Su-57, was another humiliation for Russia. And the point is not even that Russia is not able to protect its facilities in the deep rear. The Su-57 is the most high-tech new development of Russia as part of the high-profile modernization of its armed forces after the end of the Cold War. This is another humiliation for Putin after the failure of the offensive on Kharkov. By allowing this red line to be violated without any either escalation or retaliation, Putin has demonstrated his weakness, writes The Telegraph. As reported on the morning of June the 9th, the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine announced that the most modern fighter of the Russian Federation, Su-57, was hit for the first time. Later, the main intelligence directorate reported that there could be two damaged Su-57s. According to main intelligence directorate spokesman Andriy Yusov, the Russians used these planes to launch missiles at Ukraine but never launched them into Ukrainian airspace for fear of being shot down. A horse barn in Logan County, Ohio, caught fire killing 44 horses and critically injuring one person who tried to rescue them. About 85 horses were stabled at Brandt Performance Horses, which is located one hour northwest of Columbus in Bell Center, Ohio, and uses a barn that is roughly 60,000 square feet in size. It also included a residential room for staff members and a performance area for the horses. According to Jason Johns, Assistant Fire Chief of the Richland Township Fire Department, firefighters from Logan, Hardin, and Union Counties collaborated to put out the barn fire. According to Kathy Brandt of Brandt Performance Horses, an employee discovered the fire for the first time on last Saturday about noon. An employee was in the barn, saw smoke and yelled fire, Brandt told ABC News. She said an explosion occurred only seconds later and generated a larger fire. Eric Priest, owner of Priest Performance's horses in Bell Center, who kept some of his horses at the barn, ran inside to attempt to free the horses and was caught in the explosion. He sustained second and third degree burns to his arms, back and head, according to Brandt, and faces possible surgery. Firefighters were at the scene for about 12 hours on Saturday. Slowly but surely we were getting the fire to calm down, Johns told ABC News. The building was already starting to collapse and it wasn't safe to enter. Four employees lived in the building and lost everything, Brandt said. While a constant stream of fire trucks, tankers, concrete trucks, and other equipment and people descended on the scene, Logan County Sheriff's deputies halted traffic on SR 638 in the vicinity. on Township Road 51 West, headed east. Uh, I've got this big smoke cloud, like something just blew up or a gone fire. I'm not sure what is going on there. 